before you install a new filter or replace a spent filter. Survey the equipment and system label well in advance to performing the work to confirm receipt of the correct filter and bag, size, type, and number required for your housing. Order filters, bags, cinching strap, safety straps, banding kit, and other accessories as required from CamFill. In addition to this, you will need the following tools. The CamFill change-out shelf, if ordered with your housing, a ratchet wrench with an extension and a three-quarter inch socket, a roll of industrial duct tape. Inspect all filters upon arrival for damage. If necessary, replace those that are damaged, then schedule the filter installation or change-out with the owner's safety officer. Here are some terms we will use in this video. IOM means Installation, Operations and Maintenance Manual furnished with your CamFill housing. PPE is short for Personal Protective Equipment. The customer's facility may require viewing a safety video or training prior to performing on-site work. Make sure to ask in advance. Replacing Spent Filter Installation Prior to replacing spent filters for a CamFill bag-in, bag-out, or safe change filter housing, check with the owner's safety officer for PPE requirements, such as safety training, Tyvek coveralls, hard hat, safety glasses, gloves, and dust or gas mask. Use the guidelines in this along with the IOM manual and any overriding procedures of your company's safety policies. Isolate the filter housing by closing the upstream and downstream dampers. Unpackage the replacement filter in accordance with CamFill instructions. Open the filter access door by removing the four door knobs and pulling it towards yourself to remove. Place it in a safe location to protect the door gasket during filter installation. Install a CamFill changeout shelf to assist in the changeout process. Extend the changeout bag fully. There are two types of filter housings, gasket seal and gel seal. If your housing is a CamFill GB series, it accepts gasket seal filters. FB series housings accept gel seal filters. For gasket seal housings, you will need your ratchet wrench. Loosen the filter clamping mechanism by turning the top and bottom drive bolts alternately counterclockwise. For gel seal housings, release the clamping mechanism by inserting your hands into the bag gloves. Release the locking mechanism handle from the handle latch. Slowly pull the handle fully open. Pull the filter into the change-out bag. Do this by inserting your hands into the bag gloves and pulling the filter into the bag. Housings with multiple filters, only one filter will go into each change-out bag. We will discuss how this works shortly. Once the filter has been pulled into the bag, tightly gather the bag closely between the access port and the spent filter. Using materials from the banding kit, tie strap approximately 8 inches of the gathered bag to secure. Install two metal straps between the tie straps, approximately a quarter inch apart, and fully tighten to hold the gathered part of the bag securely. Between the metal straps, cut the bag. Please notice the stub left behind on the bagging ring. Tape over both exposed edges where the bag was cut. This area may be considered contaminated by the safety officer. Remove the bag with the spent filter for proper disposal by others. For gasket seal housings, you will need your ratchet wrench. Apply a thin layer of silicone grease to the gasket area. Refer to the CamFill IOM manual for the specification for this grease. To install the filter correctly, check the filter's direction of airflow arrow on the label. Orient the filter so the gasket side will face the sealing surface. Make sure the filter pleats are vertically oriented. For gel seal housings, to install the filter correctly, check the filter's direction of airflow arrow on the label. Orient the filter so the gel seal channel side will engage the knife edge sealing surface. Make sure the filter pleats are vertically oriented. This does not apply to mini pleated Filtra 2000 filters. Place the filter into the bag. Pull the shock cord of the bag to the bottom of the filter. Pull the remainder of the bag down until the filter is at the bottom of the changeout bag. Turn the filter over and pull the bag up. Remove the security strap from the stub bag on the housing. 
Move the stub bag shock cord from its current position to the space between the ribs. Install the new change out bag with filter over top of the stub bag and over the second rib on the bagging ring. Carefully remove the stub bag from the bagging ring and pull into the change out bag glove port closest to the access port, turning the glove inside out to fill the glove port. Replace the security strap around the new bag and secure tightly. Carefully slide the new filter in the change out bag into the housing. If additional filters need to be installed, gather and strap the change out bag as before and cut the bag away, leaving a stub bag on the bagging ring and a larger empty cut bag to be disposed. Prepare the next filter and new change out bag and repeat these steps until all filters are installed. For gasket seal housings, you will need a ratchet wrench. Using your ratchet wrench, turn the drive bolts clockwise. Turn both top and bottom drive bolts alternately. Tighten the upper clamping mechanism until resistance is felt. Then, tighten the bottom mechanism until it reaches its mechanical stop. Finally, turn the upper clamping mechanism closed until it reaches its mechanical stop. For gel seal housings, Slowly close the locking mechanism handle toward the locking handle latch. This seals the filter. Secure the mechanism handle with the latch. Once all filters have been installed, you will have a change out bag with a stub bag inside and forward most glove left on the bagging ring. Extend the bag out completely. Fold and roll the bag toward the housing until the bag is tucked neatly between the bagging ring and filter access port. This bag will now be used to remove a filter during the next spent filter changeout process. While holding the changeout bag in this position, replace the housing access door carefully. Install and tighten the door knobs alternately by turning clockwise until the door is sealed against the housing. Perform the properly required filter test to verify the new installation was performed correctly. Your CamFill filter housing is now ready for operation. Open upstream and downstream dampers and start the system or redirect bypassed airflow through the system.